This is David, Mr. DIY Solar and Tennessee Valley Solar. I am finally here with my big solar system that I've finally been able to get up and running. It's been a journey. So I'm finally making a video about solar. It's been a little while since I talked about solar here at my off-grid property. But I've got this big 5,000 watt inverter up and running here. So I'm going to go run through what we've done to get this set up up and running as we are just today changing over from my smaller inverter to this bigger inverter right here. So if you come with me and I'll show you what's going on with my system now. Just today I was able to deactivate the larger inverter upstairs. And I'm going to go show that here in a minute, but that larger inverter had been feeding into this load distribution breaker box here from where it's mounted upstairs. I got that disconnected and now this inverter, the output on this is producing 240 volts like European 240 volts and that's outputting this to this auto transformer and that auto transformer line one and line two are feeding into this double pulled breaker right here this is allowing me to bring in my solar I've got a array of solar panels mounted on a shed over here I'm gonna show that in a minute but the solar power comes in to this basement through this red and black wire here, goes through this breaker and up into the inverter. I've got my batteries plugged in with this big heavy uh, one up welding wire that runs over here to this rack with these three batteries in it. I got them all charged up to 100%, made sure that they were close to uh, the same voltage across the three of them, and uh, charged them individually, and then turned all three on once they were all fully charged. And we're getting pretty good sun today, but these batteries are doing a pretty good job. Even with the air conditioner and the refrigerators running, uh, the batteries are at 100% right now. And my array says that it's producing 318 volts. And right now it's about 4.6 amps. Earlier, I had seen it get all the way up over 10 amps. And I've only got half the array set up right now. I've got nine of the 18 panels that I'm planning on using set up right now. And my smaller system upstairs had one inverter charge controller package with some panels connected and a second smaller charge controller with its panels connected and I'm doing the same thing downstairs so I'm going to take the panels that had been connected to the smaller system upstairs and I'm going to connect it to this charge controller right here and get that charge controller wired in and talking to the batteries which will allow me to charge the batteries without even having the inverter on the be able to charge the batteries just off of this charge controller right here and for times that I only need uh, just to be doing the DC power so this is my system down here one of the things so this basement gets very humid there's moisture that comes in through the block walls. I've finally set up to have a, a dehumidifier running down here. This is a, uh, I've got a couple of DC dehumidifiers 
running, pulling moisture out of the air coming straight off the DC. So that's pretty cool. So they can burn battery power without even having to have the inverter on. And so they could just sit there all day long, every day, pulling moisture out of the air. And now I'm going to go upstairs and show the system that we're moving away from. And here is my older system. I've already disconnected all the wiring from this inverter. And this is the smaller charge controller. These two had been charging these two little lead acid batteries here. I am super excited to be getting away from these small batteries to the three huge batteries in the rack downstairs. So I'm going to take the four panels that were connected to that inverter and the four panels that were connected to this charge controller and all eight of those panels are going to go into the separate charge controller downstairs that's the big brother of that thing right there. And then we're going to come out of the batteries downstairs and feed into this DC power equipment up here and this is what powers all the DC stuff in the cabin. The DC power feeds up into this disconnect and then there's a breaker that I can turn off the battery power and then coming out uh, this is a 24 volt disconnect since that's a 24 volt system. I'm going to be changing this up to a 48 volt disconnect and then that's a 24 volt to 12 volt step down um, and I'm going to be changing that out to 48 volt to 12 volt and then this is my 12 volt little fuse block right there so all the DC lights and uh, my modem and everything pulls their power right through there which allows the batteries to power the system even if the inverter is off. So you can see this inverter is off right now and that little charge controller is currently charging those batteries. And so these batteries are still powering all that stuff right now until I disconnect all of this and switch all of that over to using the 48 volt power downstairs. And now I'm going to go walk outside and show a couple of additions that we have done outside. Yesterday we just got done upgrading our ground rod here. Right now the wire is just held on there with a pair of vice grips until I get one of the clamps. But we used this neat tool here on this hammer drill and put that over the end of the ground rod and that beat the ground rod into the ground for us. And we just ran the wire down the barn and put in a little trench and ran that up into the cabin. So that's uh, that's an upgrade we've done. And that grounding wire connects to the ground rod in the breaker box downstairs and then comes from that and connects to the ground point inside of the inverter. So we finally got better grounding going on. And I'm gonna go look over at the big solar system now. These are my nine 310 watt Trina solar, solar panels that are mounted up here on the top of this lean-to shed that's next to the shipping containers here. These nine panels are what are feeding into the inverter in the basement. So the power comes off of those panels. The wire goes down the side of the wall, runs underground here, feeds up into the basement of the cabin there. And then those eight panels are the panels that had been for my smaller system, those are what are going to be connecting to the smaller charge controller that's mounted in the basement. 
And so between those panels there and these panels over here, I should be bringing in about 5,000 watts of solar, which is more than what I'm going to need. But on a cloudy day, this will help me collect enough to hopefully do what I need to do at the cabin without even starting the generator. And this is the power system that I've got here inside this lean-to. The power comes from the panels upstairs and feeds into the top of this breaker right here. And I was also feeding into this uh, lightning uh, surge arrestor right there. And then the wire comes out of that breaker, goes underground, and goes over to the equipment that's in the basement. And then there's wire that DC power wire that comes back from the basement, and that will allow me to have 48 volt DC power feeding into this disconnect and this transformer here. I've had a small solar system right here that has been powering the lights and uh, everything that's mounted here on the shed. But as soon as I get the 48 volt coming back from the batteries connected to this, this system here, I'm not going to need to worry about this system. So I'll be taking that down here very shortly. And being able to run just on the larger system and when the AC power comes from my inverter comes up out of the ground and feeds into this breaker box here and there's only a couple breakers in there right now but these are the breakers that are going to be feeding AC power into this building and then this little breaker box is going to be the generator hookup. So I'll be able to have a generator sitting over here, be able to plug it into a wall socket here. And that's going to allow me to push generator power from up, sitting up here underneath this little roof, push power from this little breaker box back over to that other inverter. And that'll allow me to charge my batteries off of a generator that I'll have sitting here in this lean-to shed. So that is what we're doing with this solar system. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, a walkthrough on the current state of solar here. These two batteries are going to be going away and that stuff is going to be going away today hopefully. So I uh, appreciate you watching and subscribe. I'm going to be having more updates here for what's going on at our off-grid cabin here. This has been David, Mr. DIY Solar in Tennessee Valley Solar. Thanks for watching.